70s, they had some great teams. And one of those great teams can be honored this weekend at the Allen. That's a 1974 UNLV team that went unbeaten in the regular season and uh, finished up 12-1. and one. And the quarterback of that squad was a plucky sophomore at the time. It was Glenn Carano. Seems like a little while ago. How are you, sir? Good, good. I'm doing great. A little while ago, that was a lot of years. <laughs> Let's uh let's talk about that season going into it. Um, first of all, did you have the job going into the year? Like, how did it develop early in the season in terms of your spot on the team and you being the quarterback? Well, it's interesting. So uh, my my uh, freshman year, I was trying to start my freshman year, and oddly enough, my freshman year, the day before two a day started, I used to play football uh, basketball with the coaches every day, getting you know getting ready for two a days. And uh, the day before two days started, the coaches decided not to play basketball with me. So I went out and played basketball with some guys I didn't know. And uh, I got uh, undercut one time and blew an ankle. And uh, that screwed up my my uh, freshman year. And so then uh, so I, I, I basically didn't play the entire year except for maybe maybe one quarter. And then uh, so we went into spring football. We went 8-3 and three my freshman year with uh, a guy named – my five quarterback, and then we uh, we went to spring football. And Coach Ron Meyer uh, opened up the job. Says okay, he, he had about we had four or five quarterbacks that were vying for the job, and uh, and you know we had Mike Thomas as our it was our running back. You know Mike Thomas was the was the uh, end up being the NFC uh, Rookie of the Year for the Washington Redskins uh, in 1975, I guess it was, but. Uh, at any rate, so uh, not to, to belabor this story, but uh, Coach Meyer opened up the job that spring football, and and, uh, and it just so happened I he says you guys go out and call your own plays, uh, use Mike as much as you can, and and uh, you know funny story is uh, Mike really didn't want me as a quarterback because I was I wanted to be a passing quarterback, not an option quarterback. He wanted an option quarterback that was going to give him the ball all the time, and so. So I saw that he wasn't going to work for me. So I said, okay, I'm not giving him the ball anymore. And I started throwing the ball. And that's really what uh, got me to win the starting job uh, that spring of my freshman year. And then I came into the uh, uh, sophomore year as the starting quarterback. And uh, that was the start of, uh, of course, we, uh, we we had to use Mike Thomas that sophomore year because Mike was a great, great running back. And uh we just had – we had a special team that year, my sophomore year, a special team. Glenn Carano's with us. They're honoring the 1974 Rebel team that went 12-1, and one, uh, made, we'll call it, the tournament. Back then, played in the bowl game. We'll get to the details about the end of the season. So, wait, I, I got to get some clarity here. He let you call the plays in the spring, correct? Like, that wasn't that wasn't the deal when the regular season started, correct? No, no. Okay. The regular season started. Like, he called all the plays and, and – uh, so I had to run the option, and you know I, I was never an option quarterback. I wanted to be a drop back quarterback. Wow! But I, I ran the I ran the option, and I I, I at, at one time oddly enough this slow little white guy, you know I used to run a four six five, but slow little white guy, uh, heck yeah! Uh, at one time I held the uh, uh, offensive rushing touchdown uh, record for the UNLV. Uh, that. You know, and, I, keep going. And uh, the guy who actually beat me was the guy that came in from USC. He broke my record. Came in from USC from uh, uh, John Mc uh, was it John McKay? Coach McKay brought uh, the kid from USC uh, that uh, to UMLV, and uh, I'm not sure how great his passer was, but uh, he was a great athlete. So he's the one who broke my rushing quarterback touchdown record. So what we saw of Ron Meyer, and uh, I'm a little younger than you, uh, what we saw of Ron Meyer was sort of a, you know, he was a personality. Uh, what was Ron Meyer like to play for? Well, you know, I I, uh, I actually really liked him. Uh, number one, uh, he put together a great coaching staff, and uh, that coach staff, you know, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of coaches went on to big big great things. Uh, uh, coach uh, Coach Chris Alt, uh, you know, went up to Nevada Reno. And uh, became a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, Steve Sidwell went and coached for the uh, uh, New Orleans Saints for uh, for for a long time. Uh, Ron Myers was uh, the architect. He he put a great coach staff together. Uh, uh, 
he he came to Las Vegas. He challenged the community to come out and and support uh, the uh, the running rebels and uh, and he put together what I thought was a great team. He 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 filled he filled up the team with uh, a nucleus of Nevada football players. Uh, and Coach Alt was the one who was responsible for most of that. Is he, so Coach Alt got the top uh, players from Northern Nevada, which included myself. But uh, my my co MVP of Northern Nevada was a guy named Roy Callahan, and so he came down and played fullback. And uh, and we just uh, you know uh, Coach Meyer was a great architect of putting together a uh, a team that uh, uh, would uh, would you know be something that uh, the UNLV would, uh, the fans would come out and watch, and the fans did. They were great. He got the fans out UNLV, and we started filling that stadium up and had had a blast with it. And uh, I can't say enough about the Las Vegas fans. I mean, the fans really helped us win we, that year. I think we had about geez, what we had about eight home, eight or nine home uh, home games. We had a great schedule too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to mention uh, your first two games were on the road. You were at Weber State in Ogden, Utah. You were at Northern Arizona and Flagstaff. What were road trips like? How'd you get there? What were the trips like? Uh, you know, uh, I mean, they were good. I mean, heck yeah, you, you, I don't think we, I don't think we flew to uh, Weber State. So, uh, you know, and, and uh, Northern Arizona, I don't think there's any place to fly down there either. So, right. you know, hey, it's the old bus trip. But, uh, but you know, but both those schools were, uh, you know, good uh, games. Uh, you know, they they played us tough every year we played them, and uh, and you know, we, we, that's where we, you know, a lot a lot of teams we were playing were either from the Big Sky or but we were playing some of the Dakota teams too, you know, in the Midwest, uh, you know, we played South Dakota state, uh, you know, and, uh, so we, we had, you know, then we, then we, uh, ended up playing, I think Prairie Prairie View A&M that year, which was, you know, uh, we, we did pretty good against the, uh, uh, the, uh, Southern schools down there. But, uh, in the end of the day, uh, it was a, it was, uh, it was a, you know, the biggest game naturally is always Boise State, and that was the the game of uh, seemingly seemingly the century. That was a phenomenal game because uh, we jumped out on them and then held on to win that game. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun stories to tell about that game. How intense was the rivalry with Nevada some, you know, fifty years ago? Uh, with uh, with uh, Nevada Reno uh, UNLV, it was. Yep. It was extremely intense, especially from with me coming from Reno to go to Las Vegas. Uh, you know, uh, my freshman year, uh, we, we were we were eight and two, and uh, they were maybe three and seven, I think it was, going into the last game. And uh, you know, here we were getting ready to go into the playoffs at eight and two. All we have to do is go up and beat Reno and go into the playoffs uh, my freshman year, and. I wasn't playing at the time because I had a bad ankle, but uh, uh, so we flew up there the day of the game, and uh, it was a bumpy ride going in as it, it, it can be in the month of November in Reno. Uh, weather was the weather was poor, and we went up there and got our ass beat uh, 19 to three, I think it was, and and stayed home for Thanksgiving and didn't make the playoffs. And uh, Nevada Reno uh, won four games that year, and and. And that game made their uh, made their entire year, and uh, it it made, meant for a real tough tough winter for me because I went home for Christmas. It wasn't very pleasant. Oh boy! Uh, yeah, so it, it was a major rival. Uh, so I started uh, my sophomore year again in sophomore, and I played as a starter sophomore, junior, senior year, and I didn't lose to Reno again. And, there you uh, go. It, it, but it but it was a is a great rivalry. Uh, you know, uh, my last game, uh, you know, my brother, my older brother went to UNR. And, uh, so he told me the other day, he says, you know, this is a couple of years ago, I guess it was, he says, Hey, Glenn, you know, that, that quarterback, Jeff Tisdale, you know, your last game, he outplayed you. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, Gary, we won 49 to 33. And I played, I, I was even back then I was Tony Knapp was my head coach and he, he uh, he let me call my own plays my senior year, and he uh, he uh, he let me call. And so my he was taking me out the fourth quarter because we were we we're beating him pretty good. I said, Coach, can I just play one play in the fourth quarter? I had I threw a sixty-five yard touchdown. I said, Now you can take me out. 
<laughs> but uh, but anyway, yeah, that that rivalry was extremely uh, in basketball too. It was a big big rivalry in basketball too. Uh, UNR had a pretty good basketball team at that time also. Did you uh, back then and and you know Jerry Turkanian had just arrived uh, basically when you arrived. Um, did you have an awareness of him, like who he was, like how big a character was he as school? You know, your years at UNLV went along. Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> Tarkanian was huge. It was, hey, uh, UNLV was happening, man. So think about it. we got Ron Meyer, who Ron Meyer was a yeah. personality plus. I mean, he he dressed like a million dollars and challenged the city. Then you got Jerry Tarkanian, and you know Jerry Tarkanian was chewing a fat towel every place he went. So you know, hey. In the end of the day, uh, yeah, UNLV was happening. Our baseball team was good too. Uh, we had a, we had a good baseball team. I, I remember about golf back then. I mean, uh, I think golf was still climbing, but no, hey, uh, uh, you know, UNLV was happening. It was uh, it was uh, you know, it wasn't a big city back then. You remember back then? I might it might have been the right around. I think when I first got down here, it was about two hundred seventy five, maybe three hundred thousand people. You know, and uh, so. Uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a huge city back then, and uh, yeah, we uh, we competed uh, we competed hard. The basketball team, Jerry Tarkani was great. Uh, uh, you know, those players uh, they probably ate a little bit better than the, the football players did. Though. <laughs> there you go. Uh, last couple of things with Glenn Carano, the quarterback on the 1974 uh, UNLV 12 and one team. All right, give me your impression about what's going on right now. Things are going pretty well for football. You know, they're playing in the big stadium. At Allegiant, they got a nice win last week against a Big 12 team on the road. What's your impression of what Barry Odom is doing? Well, you know, my my, I have not met uh, Coach Odom yet. I've been dying to meet him. You know, Steve Stallworth has uh, filled me in uh, almost weekly on how how good Barry Odom is, and, and uh, it, naturally, uh, you got to be extremely impressed with uh, the year he turned out last year. Just a phenomenal year, and and. Uh, and uh, watching the Houston game the other day, I was uh, watching. It, really enjoyed uh, enjoyed watching the game. Uh, I think uh, you know going down to Houston isn't isn't uh, easy by any means. Uh, you know, uh, Houston usually plays pretty good football. I think uh, they might might be missing a little talent this year, but uh, that, their their quarterback seemed like he didn't know what was what what way was up. But uh, in the end of the day, I think uh, uh, you know Barry Odom's gonna. You know, uh, do a lot like what Coach Meyer did. He's gonna he's gonna uh, put a team together that's playing together, that's got a lot of pride, and uh, and wants to win, and is gonna do everything he can to win. And uh, you know, this uh, this new quarterback Sluka too. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, yep. uh, yeah, I was getting phone calls in Reno. Hey, Glenn, you know, you gotta support this Sluka guy. You gotta support. He's a great quarterback <laughs> out of Holy Cross. I was getting the I. I I had friends of him that uh, that knew him from California, and uh, and they they just talked uh, just nothing but good things about him. And so I watched him, and and he's a gamer. I mean, he, his his stats six for thirteen isn't isn't huge by any means. That reminds me of stats that I had that sophomore year. We didn't throw the football, yeah. but uh, we ran. We ran a lot, and and uh, Saluka ran. He ran. He looked good. Uh, you got the your wide receiver. You got you got uh, you got to get him the All American out there. You got to get him more than two passes a game. You got to get him, you got to get him some uh, the ball a lot. And you got uh, the the Jesus. Uh, you got hey, we got some talent. The Rebels got some talent. They got to give some. They got to give some people some problems this year. Uh, last That's one. Good. Do you, uh, Glenn Carano's with us? Do you keep in touch with some of the guys from that era, or when you meet up? In this case, is it going to be the first time you've seen most of the guys in forever? You know, I I I, uh, I came come down for a, a game uh, game or two every year and uh, try to get in and uh, and try to catch up with a few of the guys. You know, hey, you know, we're just, we're knocking the you know some of my uh, teammates are you know either seventy or knocking on that door. I'm, they're knocking on that door here pretty quick, so they're not they're not they're not as uh, able and as quick or, or maybe not even be around. You know, so yeah, I, we try to get together as much as possible. So. Uh, we're looking forward to getting together uh, this weekend and and celebrating a little bit and and uh, you know hey at least in stadium too you got to you know hey uh, Barry uh, Barry Odom's got another tool there uh, uh, coming out to Legion Stadium now if we could just get you know the running rebels get some people to fill up that stadium uh, if you could fill up that stadium 
And that's a home field advantage, for, a very good home field advantage, uh, especially at the level of football they're playing. So, uh, you know, heck, it'd be, uh, it'd be good to see uh, Las Vegas turn out for uh, Barry Odom and the Rebels. You know, well, we appreciate, to see it. Yeah, we appreciate your time and have a good time this weekend. We'll see you on the field uh, on Saturday. And thank you so much for the time on the phone. Well, hey, there, thanks for that. Thanks a lot, and uh, and just uh, keep on uh, making sure you get good bites wherever you go.